Hello everyone, Windwalker here again. I'm uh, going to do another quick video on Days Gone as far as trying to get it to run and function from a fresh clean install. So it, it's currently installing on my machine now. We've got about 25 seconds left for that to, to process on through. Uh, be, before we get on into all that, we'll let that continue. But but just point out as far as some of my machine specs, I'm currently using the, it's a ROG PC water cooled i7 9700K. 32 gigabytes of RAM, of course, 64-bit Windows 10 operating system, all that fun stuff. So, uh, you know, just kind of wanted to give you that that overall idea as far as what, what's happening there and, and that type of thing. So, um, the other thing I will go ahead and do here is let me go ahead and pull up my uh, NVIDIA so, so that we can go ahead and take a look at, you know, what, what my graphics card is. And, and that gives you guys a kind of a real good idea on my overall specs of my machine. So it's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. This particular card does have eight gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM on it. So it, it, it's, you know, half, halfway decent machine anyways, I'd say. Um, it, it's not state of the art as, as today goes, but it's certainly um, <laughs> plenty capable of running any game that, that I've been able to purchase so far. So anyways, we've now got this game here, Days Gone, that is fully installed. So we can go ahead and basically just shrink this on down. And let, let's go ahead and uh, let's see, here's our shortcut that came out for that game. Let's go ahead and we're just going to try to fire on in and give it a shot. So here we go. Uh, the, the game should end up asking me here to clear it to access the internet. There we go. So we got always allow. And we'll let the game go on in. Now, if, if it's going to do what it's done for me previously and whatnot, it's going to crash off just as it's going through this video here. And, yep, there it goes. The game's crashed. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead, because I know I did a video the other day after I put in all the fixes before I've uninstalled it and whatnot here. Um, so I will go ahead and just start it again one more time. And uh, we'll, we'll see that without those fixes in place, generally at this point, it should crash again. We'll, we'll find out. So let's see here. Well, there it goes again. So um, as you can see, it, it's definitely not firing off. Let, let's take a quick look over here. We'll, we'll kind of get into some of the, if you will, fixes that, that need to take place to, to get this game functioning and see what we can do to set it up. Now, of course, my antivirus program is, a, is Norton. So you, you may have a different antivirus program. But first off, we're going to go ahead and hop in here to the firewall. And we should be able to find Days Gone down in here that, that's been loaded. So, yep, here it is loaded. Here's one of the issues with the game. Uh, Norton's actually a little better today than it was yesterday. So it's actually showing it as good instead of unknown. But it still certainly doesn't have a trusted, as far as the application, the EXE file goes for the game. So so that's kind of one of the reasons that, that what you want to do is go into your... Uh, antivirus program and and for me it's under administrative settings what we're going to do is we're going to drop down here to program exclusions and we're going to whitelist this game so so that it functions without any problem on on the machine as far as norton goes so we'll we'll go ahead and add in a whitelist here for it which pretty much you just need to go to where your game is installed on your machine um, and it, it, again, this is in, in Norton here, but we go into the Steam folder and then Steam apps. And of course, common. And there's our days gone. We're going to open this up. Then game, binaries, Win64. This is the exe file. We're going to tell it OK. And so we've now whitelisted this program so it can go ahead and run on the machine it's not going to basically scan this program and think it's a virus and exclude it or anything like that the some of the people that are getting the error message of it can't find the exe it's likely because your antivirus program has blocked that file and excluded it and that's why it's saying it can't find it so you you may need to go in and one unexclude the file and then add a whitelist, to put, put it in on the whitelisting so, so that it can go through your antivirus program without any problem. So we'll apply that, we'll say okay. And we can go ahead and close on out of my antivirus program. 
So if, if we take a look at kind of what I did yesterday to, to get my game to actually run, it was all, all of this stuff here. Um, I, I have had a comment on the unplugging internet cable. And so just to kind of give you guys an idea, the reason that I did that and basically, you know, when you're grasping at straws, trying to figure out why it is a PC game is not functioning, my first steps are to go out to the internet and do searches as to what did other people have for problems. And there I found this, which basically lists to disable your internet connection. Now it does say on PS4. So for me, basically I looked at that and especially when you read down and you see that it, it's an issue with creating the profile and, and not being able to do it, it was okay, well, I'll give it a try. Uh, I, I will say after doing that, it didn't actually fix the game at all. So, but but I when I finally got the game running, it was still a disconnected internet cable as far as that goes. Uh, I will also point out, this one scares me. So apparently there were people that had hard drive issues back on the PlayStation system, but you know, I, I haven't seen any high heat or anything like that from the game when I was able to get into it. So as far as I can see on the PC, that, that portion of it's working fine. So we'll drop out of that. At, at this point, I am gonna go ahead, let, let's see if whitelisting it by itself did, did any good for us. And, and again, these are uh, you know th things that I worked on yesterday and trying to get this thing running that, that took actually quite a few hours to, to finally figure out and get it to actually function. So whitelisting the game did not help. My next recommendation would be to add in to your Steam account these settings here, which basically is going to have the game load into a uh, windowed mode with absolutely no border on it. And you'll notice that was kind of the last thing I had to do, but I had already done all this other stuff. So whether this will work or not, my, my hope is, is that this may fix the game and we don't need to worry about things. I, I know once I had it running, like my GeForce overlay was able to run. I was able to have my internet hook, hook, cable hooked up. I was able to actually, once the game started, load it up one time, I was able to remove this whole Windows mess, if, if you will. So uh, let's go on in here. And we'll find somewhere down here amidst all my darn games. And oh, where's it at? Days gone. We want to go in properties on this guy. And we're just going to add those launch options right here. So dash windowed space dash no border. And that should hopefully if, if we get lucky. That will take care of allowing this game to actually run. Okay, did I save that? I don't think I need to save it here in Steam, but let's just make sure. Okay, it's still there. All right, so let, let's exit on out of, of, of close off Steam and let's see what the game does at this point. So my, my hope is, is this will actually start the game up and, and it'll be able to go. So hopefully there's only a couple things that people may need to do to try and get it to run. So we, you can see it's, it's definitely in windowed mode. And since I've made it this far, I can already say this is gonna allow the game to start. So I, I will also say that the game is not going to have sound when it actually runs, but we'll, we'll take a look at that and then we'll, we'll go through and I'll let you know what's going on there. From, from my overall testing and whatnot, it's really when you have a, a USB headset plugged in that, that the game will not even, from what it seems, the game won't even load sound files. So here we are in the game. We're gonna go on in here. We're gonna take a quick look at audio just to make sure it's everything's turned up nice and loud for us there. And we'll, we'll take a look at the game itself and see, see what we get going from it. So, Basically, there we have that portion. Um, one, one thing I will show you, at the moment, if I try to go in and, and let's say I wanna change this to full screen, and normally for me, I'd kick this here all the way up. Nope, I wanna go one down from that so I can make decent videos from the game in a square format so we don't get the bars around it. Anyway, so we'll do that. We'll say apply. It says, yep, do I want to confirm? Yep, we'll confirm that. And now I want to go look at the say, graphic settings. Oh, wait, well, I already told you to apply that. So we'll confirm it again. 
we'll confirm it again and we're still here the, the it's not letting me go anywhere else so you, you know no matter what i try to do it, it's kind of stuck that is a problem because of the um, startup options that are there is my assumption is, is that because those startups op options are there it will not let me kick it into full screen so for me at this point what, what i end up doing so i can get back into the game normally would, would be literally to close the game out I'm just gonna tell it cancel on that so I can get out here. We're gonna go ahead and say start a new game. We're gonna go normal. And overall, if this works like it did uh, yesterday, then yep, we, we have absolutely no sound playing. We also have no subtitles going. And and you'll notice when, when we actually do come into this game and get sound working that it automatically has subtitles. So to me, the game doesn't even load sound files. If you have your headset, a USB headset plugged into your system, the, the game just plumb doesn't load the sound files. It's not really a matter of we're not hearing it. The sound file isn't loaded because if a sound file loaded, it would at least still be playing the subtitles from that sound file, even if the sound was messed up and you couldn't hear it. So something's off. Anyways, we'll go ahead and exit this, out of this game at this point because it's certainly not functioning the way we want it to. Now, at this point, I'm going to kind of scroll down here, and, and this is kind of where I had the information on sound. So what I'm going to end up doing at this point in time is I'm going to unplug my headset, which unfortunately means I will no longer have a microphone. Um, and I'm going to start the game up real quick. I'm just going to go in. I'm not going to mess with the graphics or anything. Um, I Actually, yeah, I'm not going to mess with graphics right now. I just want to go in and show as far as if I unplug my headset, I do get sound through my speakers at that point. And after the game has started and actually has sound playing, I can then plug my headset back in and it starts working fine. So we'll, we'll see how that works. So kind of bear with me, if you will. Uh, there will be a minute where if I'm unable to talk, that type of thing. You may not hear a whole lot. So I am going to unplug my headset right now. There we go. Now, now I've got sound playing. I can hear it in my headset, no problem. And hopefully you guys can hear me over the sound of the game. But also notice there is the subtitles shown at the bottom of the screen. I've made no settings in that game as far as that goes. So, uh, you know, anyways, that, that's bottom line kind of where I'm saying it's like the sound files don't even load. So at this point, I am going to go ahead and I guess there's no quit back to the main menu that I'm seeing here. So I'm just going to quit back to my desktop. Um, but, but overall, you should be, hopefully be able to get the game going again or, or firing up if you, per se, go and whitelist the game in your antivirus program and then start in that, that minimized small screen type view that's there and we'll uh, see, see what's taking place as far as that goes. So uh, other than that, uh, I'm going to go ahead, go back in one more time. I'm not going to unplug my headset. I just want to go in and, and show that, oh, I guess I messed up. I need to go remove my startup settings from Steam so that now that the game actually runs, I, I should be able to remove that run and minimize or, or windowed mode here, this whole process. And the game should still start for me. And, and we'll see how that works. The, the thing I will not be able to do is, is what I found yesterday is if I restart my computer, when I first try to start the game, 
it's going to crash on that same exact intro screen that it crashed on earlier when we were first trying to start the game up. But the nice thing on that is it seemed after I did that one time, after that, the game was able to start and it actually ran. It went in. I you know, was able to play it for just a little bit and, and I didn't have any real issues with it. So let's go ahead and hop back into Steam here. Go to our game library and find our lovely Days Gone properties. And let's take this out. And we'll fire that game up. And we, we, it should still work as far as from my prior testing on this. So my, my hope is, is that it'll work. Um, I guess I didn't unplug my headset. I'm not going to worry about it. This is just to kind of show you that, that once we remove that, the game does load up in a full screen view uh, and it seems to work so um, you know here here we are we're in the game again um, the other thing i will do at this point is i'll go ahead and hit the button to, to actually start because as far as my testing yesterday the game itself if i do not do the whole unplug my headset each and every time and start the game and then plug my headset back in afterwards the headset's not going to work and I won't have any sound. And again, we should end up seeing that there's no subtitles again, which to me is one of the real odd things is that it doesn't even load a sound file for the game to play. So it's not a surprise that there is no sound. So we'll, we'll see what we get here. Um, and yeah, so there we go. No, no sound at all, anything like that. Um, I'm going to kind of let this play, and at this point, I'll probably go into just a little bit of rant. So the biggest reason I'm making this second video is because there's a lot of kids out on Steam that are, that are wanting to post it. Anybody that says there's a problem with this game, either one doesn't know what they're doing or what are they calling them, uh, uh, PlayStation fanboys. So to, to me, this, this is basically, you know, one, I was posting data on the forums in there to try and help other players get the game to actually function. And, and you get a lot of people that just want to flame you because you're posting about a problem that they assume, well, it works good on my computer, so it must work on theirs. They're just lying to cause a problem. And, and basically, in a nutshell, this proves them wrong on that. So I, I hate to have to do something like that. But bottom line is, you know, it, it, just because a, something works on your PC, it doesn't mean it works on everybody's PC. So it's a matter of there is problems with this game. Can they be fixed? Yes. Well, likely the antivirus thing get fixed all by itself as the different antivirus companies get to understand that it's a safe file that can be used. That, that's kind of normal on a brand new game. Although a lot of times companies that, that are big producers say like a Sony, would actually pre-send their files over to your, your different virus scan major companies so that they're aware of the file well ahead of time and, and are able to basically mark it as a good file right off the bat. And unfortunately, that that obviously didn't happen with this game. Um, and, you know, I, I honestly don't know on that whole scenario, but it is what it is. So with, with that, that, that's really all I have. Everybody have a great time. Y'all stay safe. Windwalker out.